Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We got things to talk about on the Allegheny Health Network nightly sports call. All right, Ken, thanks very much. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a Monday night edition of the Allegheny Health Network nightly sports call where you make the call. And all you have to do is call 412-575-2600. That's our hotline number provided by Bordis and Bordis. You can also tweet us tonight at KD Pomp or at Gene Collier. Outstanding columnist from the Post-Gazette is here. We're talking sports with you. We'll begin with hockey news on July 24th. Who knew hockey would take over the headlines, but today it was Brian Dumoulin who got a big contract. He avoided arbitration. It looked like those two sides were going to go in. Arbitrator would come up with a number, but no, they signed instead a six-year $24 million, basically $4.1 million per year, which makes Gene Collier. The Penguins have four defensemen making over $4 million, including Schultz, who makes five and a half, which I thought was a lot of money to give mm -hmm. him, even though he deserved a raise. I thought that was a pretty high raise. What's your thought about wrapping up Dumoulin for six years? Uh, this is a lot of money, too. but um, And it's much closer to Dumoulin's arbitration figure than it was to the Penguins. So uh, cle clearly, clearly, I'm sorry, as he said, very unclearly. <laughs> um, you know, they really value him. And, uh, you know, I think uh, what's reflected in your first statement there, Bob, is that, you know, in, in having four defensemen making that, Amount of money, they're probably a pretty good team. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me if they'd won a few Stanley Cups recently. Yeah, I think so, and they're going to be one of the teams to look at and say maybe they could do it again and make it sure. three in a row. That's going to be hard to do. I don't think any team except the Islanders in the '80s last to do that when they rattled off four in a row. I think. So, bottom line is the Penguins are investing in what made them good over the last couple of years, and that would be depth down the middle, blue line, solid production there from guys who are young still. And certainly a guy like Schultz is young. Dumoulin is just 25. Ole Matt is less than that. He's going to be 23. You know, Latang's the oldest one of the bunch, and right. he's been injury prone. That still is a big concern. Oh, it sure is. But, uh, you know, how many people said they couldn't win without Latang last year? You know, I'm, I'm not, you know, I said all of last year that they wouldn't win twice in a row, and I'm not going to say one time they're not going to win three in a row. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, just not gonna, I'm just not going to do it. It's hard to do, but they have the, uh, certainly the manpower to get that done. We'll see. Still looking for a third-line center. Jim Rutherford's in no rush to get that done. I suspect it may take time, and it may take into the regular season before it does happen. Also, it's interesting today is we're getting close to football season. And, yes, training camp begins on Thursday at St. Vincent College in Latrobe. When players are supposed to report, a couple may not report on time. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, Alejandro Villanueva, we'll still uh, see what happens with those guys. But it was interesting today, Gene, I was looking around at USA Today, and they came out with some preseason picks and numbers and records, and they have the New England Patriots going 16-0. and Are you buying that? Well, I'll buy this. If there's a team out there that can do it, it is they. But, uh, no, 16-0, and uh, I would take the field on that one. So would I. And the thing about it, they have Atlanta as one of the games. It's a rematch of the Super Bowl, and yeah. Atlanta will be pumped for that game. The Steelers uh, here. The Steelers here. They also have... Um, I saw a couple of other games early on. Uh, Kansas City to start. Kansas City's a pretty good team. Yep. Now, I know they're going to be playing in New England, but still, to me, to go 16-0, and you got to have a lot of luck. you got to have a lot of injury uh, help on your side. I just don't see any team doing that. I know New England did it the last time uh, before they were, you know, down in the Super Bowl with the Giants and Plexigal Burst, but right. th that's hard to do, and I can't imagine any team – will be able to do that this year, even as good as New England will be. Is that be. the Thursday night opener, Kansas City at New England? Thursday night, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they have, you know, Atlanta, they have New Orleans. They have teams that are capable if you allow that to happen. Um, but, again, Pittsburgh on that list, uh, in Pittsburgh, I think that's a huge game. If you're the Steelers, to me, the number one thing would be don't lose games you're supposed to win and beat a team like New England at home. If you're going to have any chance of getting the number one seed or an advantage over New England, that's going right. to be a big part of it. Of course, they always have to go to Buffalo. Didn't they lose there last yes, year? Yes, they did. There you go. <laughs> in Buffalo. That's All why right. we watch the games. Pirates are um, right now playing, and they're leading 2 nothing over San Francisco. Chicago lost earlier. St. Louis won tonight. Gene, the trade deadline is a week away. Uh, at this point, I don't expect much. I expect if there are going to be some moves, there will be minor moves. I don't see the Pirates going all in for this. Uh, what's your take? Well, still 10 days. Well, still seven days to go. I'm sorry, but I don't see them doing anything. I don't. Um, Should they? No, I, I wouldn't. I'd wait. I'd wait it out. You don't think they have a chance to win this division, as bad as this division has been? I think they do, but uh, what, you know, it always depends on the return, Bob. I mean, we always talk about this, but we never talk about what they're getting back. I don't know. 
I just I would be in a mood to go off after a guy like Sonny Gray, a big time name, somebody who can you help. Can me never right now. can never have enough pitching. Sure. No, yeah. and, and so I would do that. When, who would, would you give up, up for him? I would give up. I would give up. And I said this before. I have no problem giving up top prospects mm -hmm. because people now are telling me, "Oh, Mitch Keller, he's in Double A, but he's got." Mm -hmm. How many times have we heard Glass now is going to be the can't miss? Sure. How Kingham? All these names are come and go, and some are going to hit, some are not going to hit. Most won't Most hit. Won't, to yeah. me, use them as leverage. Use them as bargaining chips if you can, if it means you have an opportunity to win something now. And I think they do have a chance to win something now, but we'll, we'll see how it goes, and that's seven days away. All right, we're going to take a break. 412-575-2600, that's the number to call. Get on the phone and let us know what you think right here on Pittsburgh CW.